Hey y'all and welcome to the video. We are out here today to do another annual review video on my 2003 Dodge Ram 2500. This is nine years in the books. I bought this truck back in 2014. And this video will be about everything that's happened in the last year, maintenance and repair wise, generally how the truck has been, as well as what kind of shape things are in. This truck is now 20 years old, so it's definitely got some age on it and it's got some mileage on it too. Let's take a look at the miles. This truck was driven about 10,000 miles over the past year, and we have 424,723 miles. This is a Laramie Sport with the color match bumpers. We'll take a look at the interior here in a little bit. It is a Cummins 5.9 Cummins. It's a four wheel drive. It's a quad cab short bed and it has the um, 47 RE transmission. This is a 250 horse standard output 03 model and everything's still stock tuning wise, fuel wise, stock-ish truck. It's, it's got um, cold air intake, that's all, and a uh, four inch MBRP turbo back exhaust. Those are the only performance mods that it's got. Take a look under the hood. 5.9 Cummins in all its glory. This is still a stock engine. I've never opened it up on my watch. I've had the truck since 170,000 miles with us being in the 420s. Still very good that we've had no injector work and no signs that injectors are gonna be needing to be done soon. AFE cold air intake is the, is the model for that. Stock turbo, HE 341 down there. And um, the transmission has also not had any work besides oil changes under my watch as well, which is really surprising actually for Chrysler Automatic. As far as things that happened in the past year, this truck had a very easy year for about the first nine months, just an oil change and a fuel filter change in that time. Then around April, it needed a uh, wheel bearing on this side. I had a little bit of a grinding noise when making left turns and um, replaced the wheel bearing on this side. Noticed there was a bit of play in this, in this tire, but the other tire was rock solid. And I took a Timken wheel bearing that had 100,000 miles off. I put a SKF wheel bearing on there. There is still a Timken wheel bearing on this side that's perfectly fine with 100,000 miles on. So I had an electrical issue that was simply, I needed to clean the battery cables. I've been having some corrosion issues with battery cables gaining corrosion on them. They don't, they don't look too bad right now. Uh, the batteries are about four years old, but basically the electrical issue involved these reading lights turning on and a, a chime coming from here, but no light on the dash that I could notice. The uh, headlights are new, the housings are. They are new and uh, just to dress the truck up a little bit. And um, the pillar here is new. This was the one thing on my wish list that I actually got done the past year. Last year, I don't think we even had a pillar here. It was just looked like a monster truck, you know. We were just seeing metal uh, cab. We will come back to the interior though. Let's uh, take a look at, so powertrain wise after 20 years, 424K, looking really good. You know, uh, runs and drives just like the day I bought it nine years ago. And I've been very impressed. I've definitely got my money's worth out of this truck. Um, now, how is the, the rest of the truck that surrounds uh, the powertrain doing? Um, it's a mixed bag. It's a mixed bag. It's not all bad. You know, we get a lot of uh, comments that... Um, you know, Dodge is not a good truck. It's just a good engine in there. But it's it's really a mixed bag. I think the frame is very good. The frame is, uh, is robust and it's also held up well from a rust perspective. Um, my axles have been good. You know, all the powertrain has been good. As far as the rest of the truck, we do have some rust problems. You know, rear fender rust, this truck was from Delaware. And while it was in Southern Delaware, where it doesn't snow too much, I'm sure it got some snow and it might've even got some um, salt from the ocean down there. 
and I currently live in a coastal area, so we have the rust. Um, I actually had this truck in Pennsylvania for a couple winters as well and drove in the snow, and that seems to be what does this rear fender rust. And under here, it would look pretty bad. The other side has it too, but you don't see it underneath of the flare. And then I've also noticed some cab rust. This side's not too bad and it's probably fixable. You know, rust, rust, that's it. This side is very fixable. Um, and that might be on my projects for the fall. This side is, and I just looked at this a minute ago. I have not noticed it about a year ago, but have not looked at it in a while. Didn't think it was that big a deal. And it got a bit out of hand, as you can see. This is bad. And this is just the cab. You know what, let me try opening the, the rear door and seeing what it looks like in here. Looks completely solid and completely fine from this side. So that is not just a clean it up and, and rust-oleum, no. That's gonna be a, a actual repair. And then the bed of the truck is also too far gone. I will likely at some point in the distant future, I will seek out a rust-free southern bed and I should be able to find one nearby living on the Gulf Coast that I can drop on here. And then at that point, we'll look at paint on the truck. So the paint, it doesn't actually look too bad in the sun right now, but it's got a lot of cracks, especially on the driver's side. This side must have spent more time in the sun. You can see how cracked up it is. And, you know, not sure how good y'all are seeing, but the paint has seen better days. The tailgate has some clear coat issues up here. This side has more clear coat trouble, but doesn't really have the cracking. You know, some clear coat spots might be hard to see on camera. And then the roof, I'm not sure how good y'all are seeing there but that's got some major clear coat trouble. This side of the truck is actually half decent looking, no cracking, not much clear coat problems on this, this side. Oh, one more uh, rust issue that I just noticed about maybe a month ago was at the bottom of the front passenger's door. And it's 20 year old paint, so, you know, I feel like it's about time for its first paint job interior wise how are we doing here you know things are old this has you know my my elbow has been there and it's taken its toll a little bit here too air bubbles in there uh, but all these switches are still working the uh, speakers the original speakers are all still in this truck but we did have that one blow that one did blow out dash not exactly happy but it has not gotten any worse over the last year. I just, uh, I don't even notice it anymore, the dash trouble. Everything works on the radio and some of the other buttons. The air conditioning has not worked in eight years and I've just declined to spend four figures to swap the AC out. Um, it's something that I would like to do though in the future. The truck also needs a new fan clutch. So there's, there's a bunch of things involved with swapping the AC out, but the four wheel drive works fine. I had one issue where I got stuck in four wheel drive last year and I was like, um, went to the junkyard. I was in the mud, put it in four wheel and uh, it took me a good while to get it out of four-wheel drive now ever since then i've gone back to four-wheel drive a couple times and had no problem but for some reason it wanted to get stuck in four-wheel drive that day and uh, that's the first time that's ever happened to me on here now leather seats these are original seats and uh while it could use a new cushion the cushion is very squishy and we do have a bit of rip in the back of the leather these seats are overall fantastic condition for being sat in 400 and some thousand miles. And so is the uh, center console here. And I do put my, I use that as an armrest and I'm surprised it's just still not having a hole in it, you know? It's in a uh, very good shape. 
things are showing their age, but uh, you know these seats, if we can see them, are are very good. Still, it's almost like they've never been sat in much. I use the rear seats as basically an extension of my bed, just an interior bed space that's out of the elements. Whoa, we got a mud wasp nest up there. But, uh, you know, 20 year old truck that uh, is still on the road with a lot of miles and, you know, I, I wanna keep running it. And, uh, you know, it's, I've definitely got some things on my wish list. You know, I'd like to build the trans, fix the air conditioning, rust, uh, new bed and repaint. And um, this truck in the future is probably gonna be more like a recreation you know, fishing, camping, drive it on the weekend kind of truck. I'll probably put some larger uh, tires on. Overall, it's been a tremendous truck, I would say. If I didn't mention, I, I think I got my money's worth out of it. So I think uh, we'll go ahead and fire it up and show the engine, let y'all hear the engines. Uh, we'll do a little blow-by test. I don't think we're going to see any blow-by. And that may be a wrap for the nine-year update video. Here we go. Fires right up, nice. Doesn't crank too long. Intermittently, it'll have a long crank, but it's not the norm. Engine sounds really good. I've never adjusted the valves, but it really does has never sounded like it needs a valve adjustment. I figured I'd do it if I ever replace the injectors. Very little there. Probably a similar amount of blow by as when it was new on its on the lot 20 years ago. It's a very healthy engine. Exhaust back here. Love these old trucks. They sound really good. And uh, you can even hear the turbo a bit through the straight pipe. It has been a little smoky lately. Not, not at idle like this. Not when it started up. But after a few weeks, I'll notice a lot of soot on the tail, uh, on the uh, bumper. You know, I figure it's just because the truck's up there in age and whatnot. But at idle and when starting up, I don't see any abnormal smoke and it sounds good. Right. Let's hop on in for a quick little test drive. Yeah. No check engine lights or anything. And fuel efficiency. I never commented on fuel efficiency. It's been excellent. Um, lately I've been running the 60 mile an hour the whole way to work kind of driving, which is very fuel efficient. And it's summertime and we've averaged 20 miles a gallon over the last three tanks. So I've been uh, very impressed. acceleration for you once we get out on the road here.
y'all have a good one.